My guest today is Melanie Adcock. Melanie, how are you? Hey, I'm doing all right. It's good to meet you. Good to so, meet you as well. We just met like 10 minutes ago. I know. It's pretty amazing. And, uh, so, and I'm excited to have you on the show because it's, it's a fresh face and a new idea. And I'm learning something. I learned about Tech Month. Uh -huh. What's Tech Month? Yeah, well, um, Tech Month Chicago is a, a concept and an idea that I had a couple years back. Um, there, there is a, something here in Chicago called Chicago Artist Month. It was really wonderful. It went on for 20 years, and it was an awareness month for art that was uh, promoted to the general public. Hmm. And it had all the galleries and art events put on a one-month calendar, and then they promoted it with all kinds of neat fanfare and other things. And I thought... That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Chicago, by the way, has a really excellent art scene. They, Not just to the galleries, do. the museums, but on the streets as well. That's right, especially in this neighborhood here in Pilsen. Yeah. Uh, and I lived in Pilsen for 20 years, so I knew a lot about this. But I was working in the tech industry and thought, wouldn't it be awesome if we had an awareness month for technology mm, okay. and and there was already um, a few things going on here and there and there's social media week and there was tech week and these things are really cool right but it wasn't the same concept and so with with technology awareness month and what tech month Chicago is trying to do is have a one-month calendar where all of these existing events mm -hmm. that happen year-round get some publicity and they get some props for all the great work volunteers do and and uh, in Chicago uh -huh. if, if you look on a website like meetup.com right yep. now there are in Chicago and the surrounding area 465 tech-related meetups. I've probably been to on, all of them. On meetup.com, you probably have. <laughs> and and uh, and that's not including all of the events happening at the over 100 co-working and innovation spaces, yeah. shared office spaces that involve tech all throughout the Chicago area and the colleges and many other places too um, that, that have events for kids, events for families, a library, the Chicago Public Library <clears throat> system. They have over 100 STEM events every month okay. and so there's so much happening in Chicago to why reinvent the wheel and do like a, a week of curated content with a small group of people going this is what we're going to present mm -hmm. how about just take everybody who's already doing stuff from all over the city and all of the neighborhoods and all of the locations and all of the events and all of the cool people who are doing great stuff and do something for them and do something for everybody and then promote it to the general public so hmm. that the public in Chicago can say, wow, look, the cool tech people are doing something great and, and, uh, and celebrate it a little bit and give everybody something, not just a few people, but everybody in our community. I feel like when we talk about community and what is the technology community, it's very hard for someone who's not in the tech industry to grasp that what that is. They might know a couple of spaces or a couple of people's names but they don't really get what that entails you know but there's so much and they don't know the vastness of what we have and how they could get involved for something for their kids to go to if they mm -hmm. want to learn about mathematics or stem something they could go to if they want job training something they could uh, attend if they just want to expand their skills learn about something like javascript so learn something about devops yep. some of the more complex things it's all accessible to them there's really not as big of a barrier as some people perceive it to be. They think, oh, well, I'm not really doing anything in technology. Right. But if you happen to be a senior citizen starting a business and you've never learned how to use Excel before, right. that's something to do with technology. Yep. So how can we do something that's inclusive with all of the neighborhoods, all of the locations, all groups, all people that, and basically the, I felt the way to do that was to do a concept like this, where we have a calendar and just ask anybody who wants to do something can do it and put it on the calendar, promote it and celebrate it. And, and uh, in the last couple of years, so we're in our fourth year this year. Oh, wow. And, um, the and, you're, last, and you're, you're spearheading it. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and the, the last couple of years we've, we will get venues throughout the Chicagoland area, whether it's someone with a spare office space, a venue, um, like a shared office space, we usually get about 14 or 15 that will say, hey, we think this is a great idea. And if someone wants to do an event for Tech Month and Technology Awareness Month, they can do it at our space without paying for it. And, and, you know, and then we put it on our calendar. Mm -hmm. So the community, if someone has wanted to give a lecture, oh. wanted to do a party, have a party, and they can't afford to pay for a big, place they can do it during technology awareness month without having to pay for it and then get the word out and do do something for the community give be of service and um you know have some out 
outreach around what they're doing or their cool projects. Okay. Um, so it's it's a nice thing for the community that we're doing too to, to help people uplift them, give them a chance to do the things that everyone else uh, can do. Very cool. So you're not uh, you're not doing the speaking and you're not providing the space. You're connecting those folks together. That's right. Connecting them and then promoting them like mm -hmm. a great big um, you know bullhorn or a cheerleader <laughs> in some way. Um, I, I love events. I've always yeah. loved going places and meeting people. I go to a, a networking event. I want to meet everybody in the room. Mm -hmm. And and I think uh, you know these days as I've gotten older, I've I don't have as much time to do that as I used to. Uh, but I make up for it by by volunteering to do a radio broadcast year round that focuses on events. Okay. You know, um, and so and it's 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 different. So it's it's called Tech Scene Chicago. Oh, is, is that on, on the over the air or is it on yeah, the internet or what? Yeah, it is. It's on the FM, the old fashioned turn the knob yeah, I've got radio, one of those in my car. right? The FM <laughs> uh, dial. Um, it's no a, static at all. <laughs> right. It's called Lumpen Radio. And, uh, Spell that for me. L U M P E N. Why is it called Lumpen. that? It is called that because it's it's named after a print publication that's been in print here in Chicago for 25 years called the Lumpen Times. Oh. And the name for that comes from uh, I think it's like a it's named after a low um, class of people. Uh, so it's sort of like taking the lower class or the middle class okay. and elevating them with this cool cultural publication that talks educate about the lumpens. Right, right. Yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've never heard that something word. like that. So I know the people who started the station. They're located in Bridgeport. Edward yeah. Marzuski, Logan Bay, a couple of these other great individuals who do this. It's a labor of love, of mm. volunteer work, and they um, are one of the newest stations in Chicago. I've known them uh, from the arts world for years and years. They're okay. dear old friends friends of mine and I you know it's it's very hard if you if you know you'll be good at something and you just love it so much you want to do it I couldn't very well go to uh, an outlet like Crane Chicago Business God love them you know whatever and say hey I'm Melanie Adcock I have this awesome idea will you let me do it it, it, no response. You know, no one's ever yeah. going to email you back. No one. No You're one's democratizing just, that whole right. No one's, mechanism. No one was just going to let me in and do this great idea that I had. Uh, but but Edmar did. You know, Edward Marzuski, uh, Logan did. They believed in me and thought that, oh, yeah, let's give her a chance. I think it'll right. be great. And so, like, three years later, I've interviewed 100 guests, um, you know, really been trying to make an impact on people who are running uh, community-driven technology events for STEM, for STEAM, um, for w events for women, events oh. for transgendered individuals, events for all different types of groups of, of people in tech, whether it's um, focusing on w women in tech or JavaScript or DevOps or a certain type of technology that's, uh, that's big that people want to learn how to use, social media anything like that um, and who their group is what they do what topics they cover when and where it is um, and and what what's making them tick why they like to do it and it's it's great because we're talking about community service and outreach we're not talking about a CEO with a cool product or an expert right. it's it's much more about the love of community and mm -hmm. and I th and these people since there's so many events no one ever really covers it like you might look at um, something in our our community like a, a publication that'll say here are the top five events you can't miss but there's like 400 events happening every month sure. how can you possibly cover all these great stories and yeah. wonderful outreach that people do to try to help you know people in in different neighborhoods start businesses or, or learn about technology there are whole groups and events going on just for that that are so inspirational and, and for me, I'm finding these stories and, and giving them elevation, giving them uh, a sense of importance that they didn't have otherwise. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a really fulfilling thing to, to do. And so I do that year round, uh, mm -hmm. twice a month. And, um, and then, and what we're gonna- On the radio show? On the radio, What yes. is it on? Uh, it is it is on every Friday at 1 p.m. And, and which station? 105.5 FM WLPN okay. um, uh, Lumpen Radio, hmm. and that you can also stream it on their website too, lumpenradio.com. Okay, is if, that is that public radio or is that commercial radio? It is a non-commercial radio station. Okay, and so that's a, a certain class so you, of you license. Sp you specifically said non-commercial, not public radio. That's different then. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I don't know radio well we enough. can't we don't talk about how much things cost on there, and we don't talk about you know like anything that. We be a call to action or seen as commercial so well, we, how, well can you tell me how that gets funded yeah um they're a 501c3 uh -huh. so they're it's a non-for-profit station so people it's, donate money people to it. donate I money see. to okay. it mm -hmm. and they do and they do fundraisers and rallies and all different kinds of things for that 
All so. right. Uh, very cool. Um, I actually, I'm very familiar with the, the tech community here. I used to be a technical evangelist for Microsoft, and I would, I remember Sunday evenings, part of my ritual for Sundays before I go to bed, I'd look on meetup.com to see mm -hmm. which meetups I was going to attend. Yeah. And sometimes there were two or three of the same night that I wanted to go to, and sometimes I would go to two or three. <laughs> if I could. Chicago has a lot going on when it comes to events and things to do. And and I think that the the technology scene in Chicago, it, it get, we, we beat ourselves up a lot because we're not the coast, we're not San Francisco, we're mm. not New York, and, and so, but what are we? We want to be the best at something. Chicago just strives, Chicago wants so badly to be known for something. Well, what are and, we known for? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> ABC News uh, recently, within the last few months, said we're number one city for corruption. Um, and yes, <laughs> right? we're number one, folks. Which came as a surprise to Eat your no heart one. Out, Detroit. <laughs> right, right. It came as a surprise to no one. Take that, Washington D.C. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I know. And it, but it, and it's 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 painful to the ears of people who work really hard to do something good for technology. Yeah. Yeah. You know that where they want to be known for something, and they they're working hard, and and then we don't make these lists. Well, what is a list really anyway? You know, I mean, I. I think that Chicago want, you know, just wants to be known. We're the third largest city, yep. almost the fourth largest. Houston's going to beat us out someday. Um, that, so they say, so I've mm -hmm. read. But, but for right now, we're the third largest city, and we're on nobody's radar as being an awesome tech community. But, I mean, really, though, I want to share what we are doing, what we do have, and what we do have are amazing people mm -hmm. with this solid work ethic who truly want to make a difference. That There's so much good news here. You know, that, that never gets, no one shines a spotlight on it because mm. they're too busy dealing with things like the corruption or the latest scandal or who makes the money, who sold their company, where the millions of dollars are going, follow sure. the money. They're not following the good news, you know. Um, yeah, I think it's partly true. I mean, the uh, Chicago, I'm a, I've only been here about five years and Chicago does have uh, an excellent startup scene. I think so. It has a, uh, and I think that's pretty well known, at least throughout mm -hmm. the Midwest. A lot of really good universities are here. And then on top of that, a lot of people like myself who went to school elsewhere mm -hmm. are moving here because the lifestyle is so good. There's a lot of, you know, like cultural events and so on. That's right, yeah. Um, and there's it's a lot a, of jobs here as well. That's right. It's a great lifestyle, and it's not the coast. And the coasts are only yeah. going to get more and more expensive, especially with yeah. these IPOs in this year, with all these companies going public, and uh, there'll be a lot of new millionaires all wanting to live in uh, the West Coast. Well, they can come right out here to Chicago, have a really mm -hmm. awesome life, awesome time, great city, and without all that fuss, you know. So I, I kind of hope that they will, and. Um, you know, I, I think that our, our tech community, there's a lot of upstanding things. We have a solid foundation here for um, all kinds of wonderful expansion that I, I think th there are plenty of people who care about it, you know, um, want to see, see this happen, that are all doing good things, starting groups, uh, supporting companies, supporting startups, support, and supporting each other. Mm -hmm. I think that's such a huge differentiator with all these different groups. I mean, I seriously think it's Chicago and surrounding area, if you wanted to move to Chicago, you could eat pizza every night <laughs> at an event somewhere in this whole Chicagoland area in tech. You could go to a different event every night yes. and eat free snacks somewhere. <laughs> You know, <laughs> somebody's got to test that out. And I have see eaten a lot of Chicago pizza in the last five years. I th yeah, I think so. I think somebody should test that out and see if that's actually possible. But there, but there's I have. I can confirm oh, every can week. Confirm? Every weeknight for sure. Oh man. Well, it, it, so I, I, th I think that that's great. Like, where are you? Where else are you going to find that? Uh, you know, where do you? The I was like 150 pounds when I moved to Chicago. Really? No, I'm just wow. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, where else are you going to find that? You know. Um, and I think that's what gets me excited about being here in Chicago Tech is that, I, and, and even though there's all this great networking, there's still people to meet. There's, yeah. and, and that's what I love about this broadcast that I do is that I get to elevate the wonderful stories of people. Yeah. And so now, now that I've been doing it for three years, I went and had another crazy idea. Um, with, with the Lumpen Radio, working with Lumpen Times, they have printed things for about 25 years. They're, getting, they're pretty good at it. So I'm going to transcribe all of my archives hmm. of all these interviews I've done, hmm. use an AI tool, edit it down, edit it down some more and some more, and make it into a newspaper. 
Huh. And it, with all these hours of archives, I have way more content than I could ever print. Sure. And so I figured, why not try it? And it put, and I'm going to put it out there in October. We're going to call it Tech Boys Chicago. This will be a printed newspaper, mm-hmm. not a an printed, online print. A printed analog, printed, okay. hold it in your hands. That's old school. Old school newspaper. But why not? I think I think it'll make people feel... Like these good stories, these important stories are being told finally. Uh-huh. Um, like just a couple of examples, you know, um, one of my, a couple of my favorite stories, uh, Carol David, she works at IIT and she does a conference every year for uh, next generation 911 technology. Mm. Such an important thing. Um, and her work, a very well respected teacher, long time woman in tech, one of my personal heroes, you know, for sure. Um, and here she is doing this big conference and it's, I think, really important important technology that impacts everybody in yeah. our world it's about our future and is it a new story no nope. you know and just, does she do outreach and say hey come come do a story sure do they come no uh, so you, wh- can, you can help shine a light on something well, like yeah. that and something why that is that doing. It's really she, good. she deserves that you know and and there are so many other really great people and great stories out there that that are just you know dying for some kind of publicity for me to say oh look here's this great thing you know, um, it gets people excited. People love it. And and I, I don't know why they don't, you know, other outlets don't do that. You know, I, I wouldn't be able to do anything that I do if, if these other outlets would, would do it already. Right. You know, um, and there, so there's just, we need to just share some more love, I think, with stories like that. Yeah. And, and people are seeing it, interacting with it, and just loving it. And, and, and they're going to, when they see the content that, that I'm going to put out there of all these other people, they're going to fall in love with Chicago. <laughs> you know, how could you not with a story like that yeah. and, and, uh, and 40 or 50 other stories that are all just as good and wonderful? Yeah. You know, um, how could you not fall in love with Chicago and the, the tech world here? It's just impossible. And, and you've got, what, the pizza and the beer? <laughs> and Forget those hot dogs. Forget about it. And the and hot Italian dogs. Beef. Forget about it. Italian beef. It's <laughs> over. It's o- West Coast. It's over. We have hot dogs. Get, get, get down here. <laughs> uh, uh, it's one thing I noticed that, uh, that uh, in Chicago, the tech scene, it tends to be be a little bit um, fragmented you know we'll have uh, like I, I deal with developers mostly and we'll have folks that deal with Microsoft technology and people that deal with uh, oh, uh, Oracle and Java technology and they, they don't talk to each other as that much and so I think you're crossing those boundaries and getting the word out because it sounds to me like you're not promoting any particular platform or technology or you know students versus startups versus enterprise developers or versus IT professionals and security people mm-hmm. um, it's just the tech community that you're talking to. And, That's right, yeah. And, and so you're telling stories like uh, like this lady at IIT who's doing things f- with with um, uh, with students and you're t- getting that out to people that are out working behind the corporate firewall and letting them know about that. That's right, yeah. I mean, I think there are lots of people in our tech scene who have jobs, who've been in Chicago for many, many years, who just don't realize that our Chicago public library system is one of the biggest places for technology, civic mm-hmm. advocacy, civic tech, and, and outreach to the public mm-hmm. in, in our whole city. You know, and that there are a hundred STEM and tech events every month in the various branches of the Chicago Public Library. Mm. People forget, and we're shining a light on that. Great. Um, there, another example too is a, a great class going on at NAIU, uh, taught by Marge Johnson. Marge is coming to my um, a radio broadcast this Friday, and she teaches uh, senior citizens how to start a business plan. And, and man, I, because I've been um, doing the, um, I know she was coming to the radio show, I got curious about her class. One thing led to another, I'm auditing it. I'm taking oh, nice. the class and I'm meeting these amazing people. <laughs> oh man, they are, they are working so hard. And, and, and it's, it's, just, it's just unbelievable, the kind of cool things that are going on with that. And, um, and, and Marge deserves to, you know, ha- I think that should be a huge feature story. And so, so well, if these other outlets won't do it, I'll do it. There we go. And that, that's kind of my um, thing. It's like, well, I'll do it. And I put a lot of love and heart and soul into it. And, you know, just want just to wanna help elevate these great stories. And many, many more like it. Everything you're doing, you're volunteering your time for, correct? Everything that you've discussed yeah. so far. In, the the in Tech Scene interview. Chicago radio broadcast has been three years of, of all volunteer work. Uh-huh. And, and uh, Tech Month Chicago currently right now is, is an LLC. And I plan eventually to make it into a non-for-profit foundation. Okay. Um, you know, and, and, or, or to at least make part of it the stuff that we do for community outreach. So, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I hope, I mean, if I can pay myself for it so I can only do that for a living, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, right now, in the last couple of years, I've lost a lot of money just paying for it myself, uh -huh. mostly because I want to see it happen, yeah. you know, and, and I think that... What, what is your day job? Well, oh, my day job, I have a, a company called Tech Copy Authority Corporation, yeah. and I do um, white papers, web copy, and blog posts for tech companies, ah, help them writer. with their content. You're yeah, a tech writer. Tech writer, yeah. Okay. And, it, and right. I, I have people who work with me on contract too and we and it's and it's fun i enjoy it i get to work with the uh, companies help them look good sound good and learn all about their you know content needs but also their products and services i have a blast with it i'll bet there's people that are watching this saying that's she sounds like an articulate lady i bet she's a good writer i'm gonna <laughs> reach out to her how would they do that oh um well if someone would like to reach out to me probably the best way would just be to call me i have my phone number out there everywhere um, but they can also interact with me through for writing. I have techcopyauthority.com. Okay. Uh, also techmonthchicago.com for our calendar for October. And then you know my num my phone number is three one two two five nine zero six one zero. I'm not afraid to have people call me. I, I think that's to, the first time anyone's ever said there's phone number on the show. Well, hey, it's the first time <laughs> for everything. I, I mean, I was a telemarketer or business development in tech for about ten years before I went into writing, um, and so all I did was call up executives to get them to schedule appointments. Okay. And I think because I was a woman and more creative and friendly and curious, people would set appointments with me, and and people could never figure out why I was so good at what I did it's because I was you know chatty and like uh. to talk a conversationalist <laughs> through and through and I, someone would say oh I might come to your you know summit or I might come to this event what do you people wear so well you know our logo's green maybe you should wear a green tie well the fellow showed up with the green tie on I couldn't believe it excellent and it's because I was you know memorable right uh. Um, so that, so that, so I had my, I call people for a living. So I figure my karma, I just put my <laughs> phone number out there. Anybody wants to call me, bring it on. I don't care. I like to be accessible. I like, I don't want to hide behind a firewall just because I'm running a company and doing something. I don't believe in that. I like to talk to people. I like to interact with people. I like for people to call me up if they feel like it. Talk to me, send me a text, send me a, give me a phone call. I don't care. What's the worst possible thing that could happen? What are they gonna do, um, take away my birthday? I don't think so. <laughs> so I, so for me, all those years of telemarketing, it certainly, it, it at least gave me that. They could, call it, they could call it odd hours. <laughs> right. <laughs> Doesn't uh, bother me. I just have a couple minutes left here. Let's, um, okay. uh, I wanna come back to the tech month. Is there anything yeah. that you're going to be doing this this month? It's in October, right? I don't it's know if we October. actually said that on camera. Yeah. Oh, oh we but, didn't go through that yet. Uh, okay. But is there October. anything you're doing new this year that you haven't done in years past? Yes. Um, this year, we're we're going to revamp our website, make a better calendar interface for people, okay. so it'll be easier for people to find all the events and, okay. and figure out what they'd like to go to. We're publishing a newspaper in October, the uh -huh. Tech Voice Chicago, um, all, that's all about tech events and, and the different cultural outreach programs that exist in Chicago. So that's new. Um, I think for me, what I'm doing too is I'm also doing a sponsorship program, which I didn't do these last three years. I oh, spent great. I spent my own money. Then my husband got mad at me. Right. <laughs> so now I have to actually try to have some other companies help pay for it. And if they do, then I can do cool things like get more t-shirts or other things that yeah. people want that's more of a community outreach thing. I can do more with mm -hmm. that. So I, I developed um, a sponsorship program where if companies want to, you know, have experience, print digital and experiential marketing. I've got different tracks for all of that if okay. companies are interested. So that was that was new and, yeah. and a big challenge for me because I'd never done that before. Yeah. So we'll see if, we'll see what happens. What's the worst thing that could happen? It could fail. They could say no. That's right. That's not so bad. <laughs> Nelly, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is such a great experience. Uh, I will volunteer to do just about anything anybody ever asked me to do for the sake of technology in Chicago. It's something I, I definitely believe in. Um, and I, I feel like uh, in Chicago, people go to events. To, they don't just make connections and hand out their business cards. You can make real friends here, friends that will last your entire lifetime. Um, that's why I do what I do for my friends. I, I, uh, I want to... Maybe I'm crazy, but I want to be friends with everybody. I, I uh, am a kind-hearted, loving person who just wants to help out this awesome city. Um, I think that our, our technology scene is going to do nothing but grow. And, um, yeah, and, and everybody's friends here in Chicago.